Good day there, YouTubers. Today is a video. I've been getting hit with this a lot here lately. And it's on coax. So, I want to show most guys some uh, some things on some coax. Now, I don't have nothing special here. I just got some 8X. Um, different lengths, though. And that's the most important part. It's not uh, really the coax so much, but it is the lengths. And uh, what I'm getting a lot of is a lot of guys are using three-foot jumpers in between their radio and equipment or in between the driver and the next amp and so forth and whatnot. Well, three-foot jumpers, man, really, really aren't good um, when it comes to the uh, impedance matches and stuff like that with the coax. Um, it tends to uh, mess it up a little bit. So in this demo today, uh, what I'm going to show you is uh, the different lengths in coax and uh, what they can do and what they do do and so forth so uh, we're going to use Caesar's 2 pill he was a victim of the uh, three foot jumper episode and um, so I'm going to show you all a little bit of how we're going to do this so we've got a 3, a 6 and a 9 and then I've got a coupler here and uh, we're going to couple a couple pieces together and because uh, I don't really feel like I don't have a 12 on hand so I'm going to make a 12 with this coupler it'll be fine uh, this is just for demonstration purposes only. I wouldn't suggest doing a coupler to make your lengths. But uh, we're going to use the old stock 29 like in all my videos. Um, I am going to do something just a little bit different. And uh, we're not so much worried about the output power uh, of what the amp is. I'm going to set the, the, the dead key and we're going to leave it there. But we're going to watch the reflect. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to flip... Uh, Flip the slug, well, you know what? I'll probably flip the slug on the digital meter. It fell out behind. I'll, I'll pull it back out. But uh, we'll probably use the uh, digital meter, I think, for the reflect. I'll, I'll check everything. But uh, let me get everything set up and in line. And we'll start off with the three-foot jumper, and we'll go from there. And just remember, all this is terminated into my bird dummy load down there. So uh, it is what it is. We will be back. Okay, guys, let me show you all what I got going on. We've got a three-foot jumper coming directly off the radio. Okay, and going to uh, Caesar's amp, and then of course my normal setup. Now, I uh, changed out the slug. I'm not really worried about output power right now. I've got the mic gain off, so I just needed the 250 in here to set a dead key. And what I'm going to show you is 40 watts, 40 watts on the dead key. Now I got a half watt slug here for reflect back at the radio. Now back at the radio. This is at the antenna, and this is what I'd like to show you all too, because uh, a lot of these guys are putting up videos showing you this awesome reflect at the antenna well let me clue you in on something the antenna we're terminating into a dummy load that's a perfect condition they really should be showing you the reflect either back at the radio or back at the driver uh, another quick thing that y'all could also do is set your SWR if you have an SWR function on your radio that's a quick and dirty way of doing things you just key it up set it and then put it in SWR mode and uh, that's a pretty good way to uh, see what your reflect is back at your radio. Now, um, I've got the uh, 500 milliwatt slug back at the radio, so we're carrying about a 40 watt dead key. And as you see, it's about 18, about 18 right now. So uh, give me a second. I'm going to change out some uh, to the next size jumper and show you what the next deal is. All right, guys. Right now, what I've got in line is a six footer. Okay, so that's the next piece of coax I've thrown in line is a six footer. So remember. I'm not worried about the output power. What we're worried about is the reflect and the reflect. So this is input reflect. That's output reflect. And as I've told you all before, that is on the dummy load, which would be your antenna, which is a BS uh, kind of reading that some of these guys show you in their things. And, of course, we already know that I've calibrated my... See, it's not even moving now. And that's when it tells you about... That, that's a quick and easy way if you don't own a bird setup. Just set your SWR cal and roll with it. And here we go on the quarter watt slug and look how much it dropped okay and then of course antenna nothing nothing on antenna so i mean let's move on we're going to go to a nine footer next and then what i'm going to do is combine two sixes together and make a 12 and we'll stop there i'll be back all right guys now let's go back to the uh we've got the nine footer in line and um i haven't changed anything on the radio still where we've been Still the uh, quarter watt, uh, the 250 milliwatt slug. Still the same reflect. All we're doing is testing jumpers, okay? And this is what they'll do for you. Now we've got the nine footer in line. And look at it now. 
I mean, it dropped a whole lot. Still nothing on the antenna, which I, is what I tell you guys. And look, SWR meter is not moving at all on the 29. Okay, most boxes are pretty much optimized for about a, uh, the velocity factor of the coax that you're using. Okay, but most people don't know how to add all that up or do whatever. And so nine times out of ten when I'm talking to a customer on the phone, I usually tell them, look, you know, usually the best on a mobile situation is a 12-foot jumper. In a base station scenario, you can usually get away with a six. But uh, let me move on. I'm going to add two sixes together and make a 12, and then we're going to end it there. All right, guys, let me give you a little rundown of what I got going on here. I got my original six that we always test the amps with, and it's into a coupler, which is going to the original six that we tested with a little while back. Okay, and of course, it's the same scenario 250 watt milliwatt slug. I mean, I know I didn't really, really show it in the videos, but uh, it is 250 milliwatts. Still got the 5 watt for antenna reflect. Antenna reflects on the digital Dave. Reflex there. Haven't touched the dead keys at all. And we'll show the radio first. Look at it. Still same thing, not moving. But look at this. This is a 12 footer. And look at that reflex. Now that's amazing. Look at our dead key. Still pretty much the same place where we put it. And you see what I'm talking about on jumpers. Okay. Our dead key didn't change. Our reflex did though. And in turn, remember. The lower you can get that reflect, the cooler everything stays. And this reflect is actually what's coming back at the radio. So the amps return watts are coming back there. And the lower you can get that, the better everything will work together. Okay? And that's what I try to tell people. And like I said, the quick and easy way, if you don't own a bird meter, is just use the SWR cal in your radio, man. I mean, there's nothing wrong with using that. I, I don't usually use them to test an, antennas and stuff with, but... In this kind of scenario, hey man, if it works, use it. There ain't no doubt about that. And I mean, those meters do, will tell you some things. And that's one of the things that will tell you is if you've got some reflect. So, just like I said earlier, I usually tell, tell most of my mobile customers a 12 footer. Might even be the same scenario with a base, but where are you going to put all that coax? And always remember, do not let the coaxes crisscross. That's bad. RF will jump from one to the other. I've seen it happen. Um, I've seen guys melt their coaxes down. Also, you know, different types of coax will measure differently too. So this is Mini 8, Big 8, 213, 214, LMR 400, LL400, Heliac, which is what I got right here on the base here. You know, and then there's 217, you know. So there's all kinds of different type of coax, and each one of them can give you a different reading. And like I said before, usually the best case scenario is velocity factors, but sometimes, you know, uh, it, that can get a little confusing. So it's just easier to do, go, you know, go with the six footers. And you'll see what the reflect looks like. I mean, proof is in the pudding. And like I also told y'all, y'all want to know the reflect back at the device, not at the antenna. Really want to know what's coming back. Okay. Uh, whatever's coming back on the antenna is the antenna's fault and in this case we're using a bird dummy load so of course I don't have no reflect because it's a you know 50 ohm dummy load so uh, you know when these guys tell you about oh I've got no reflect or whatever hey you want to see the reflect back at either the radio or like we do a lot of times with most of our videos when we use that little two pill we're showing the reflect coming back at that two pill and that's what you really really want to know but three foot jumpers you know, they're, uh, they're only good for one thing, and that's meters. That's usually about it. Um, I, I've never had any luck myself with using three-foot jumpers. Every time I've ever used one, pop goes to weasel, meaning the amplifier's blown up. But Caesar, we appreciate you uh, letting us use your uh, amplifier for this test video. Hopefully this is informative to a bunch of people. I know there's a lot of people that have asked me about it. And that's the reason why you don't use three-foot jumpers. I know uh, all the truck stops tell you three-foot increments, but that's not really right. On, especially like Mini 8, you know, if you're trying to find the quarter wave of the velocity factor, it's more or less right around seven foot, somewhere in that area. Quarter wave, or half wave, I'm sorry, is a uh, little, it's almost ten foot, a little over nine. So, I mean, it depends on the brand that you use. You know, if you've got building coax like we have here, 
you know every brand has this, you got to figure out the velocity factor for that brand but i hope hope been, uh, this was an informative video that's about what it was meant to be uh help you guys out get y'all out there talking better just remember the lower you reflect the better you talk the cooler your amp stays the longer you can talk that's what it all transpires to you get a few things out of this when you get your reflect low you get more watts and longer talk time and who doesn't want both <laughs> no doubt all right fellas uh happy to have done this video for y'all old stigmented new name amp cb shop and we're gone we'll see you bye bye bye